Hello again, teachers. This is John over in Educational Technology, and today we just have a quick tip about uh, layouts, views, and present modes, specifically for students. So since you're already looking at my screen, I want to explain real quick that on the right, I am logged in as me, which is the teacher, and on the left, I am logged in as a student. So if I were to look at the participants, I would see um, I have me, and then I, I'm sorry, I have me as the student, and then John as the teacher, and if I look at the same thing over here on the left, I will see me as the teacher, and then this student down here at the bottom. So when you as the teacher are presenting, and, and this doesn't matter what you are presenting, you could be presenting your webcam, you could be presenting a different application, you could be presenting a Chrome tab, your entire screen, it doesn't matter. Whatever you are presenting, so I'm just going to do a Chrome tab for now, choose one of these on a different page. So when I am presenting, this is what students will see. They should see what's called the spotlight view. And by the way, if you want to instruct them to change that, that is under the more options, change layout, and they can choose which one they want. By default, auto is enabled, which means that they're going to jump to the spotlight view. Sidebar is also great because whatever you're presenting is still large and they'll have some small icons for a few other students or you in the class. A couple of things here that are really important to understand though. If students have grid view installed, which is this little waffle right here on the top of my window, I don't see that in the student view, but in my view I do. If that is enabled, your presentation is going to show up as a very small rectangle. So to get around that, instruct students to turn off grid view. So I'll show you here in my teacher window. When I turn off grid view, it automatically goes to the sidebar view, meaning this is where students will have a large view of whatever you're presenting, and on the right, uh, they'll have small icons of other students in the class. The other thing to remember here is that you you can instruct students to pin you to be what they want to see at all times. But what gets confusing about this is that when you're presenting, so if I look at my participant list, you are technically two people because one of them is you, and once you started the presentation, it kind of creates a second facilitator in the room. So when they are going into their screen and they're going to pin somebody, make sure they pin the presentation not you as your original name. So when they go to presentation and click on pin to screen, that will make sure that no matter what view they're in, your screen will stay large and they'll be able to see anything and everything that you're presenting. So that's your quick tip for today. Hopefully that helps. Uh, until next time, we'll talk to you guys soon. And just remember, you cannot be an analog teacher in a digital world.